I'm so full, I can't even breathe. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And yesterday I read an article that was titled Six Reasons Why Having a Personal Pan Pizza Is Better Than Having Kids. And I was like, ah, oh, I could not agree more. Food is wonderful. Speaking of food, types of people who eat it. Not only do I recommend you watch this video because it's obviously crucial to your survival and living and the happiness and joy of your heart and soul, but I suggest you pause, grab yourself a snack, and then come back and watch this video because let's be real, everything is better with food, okay? And I said food, don't come back with a salad. If you come back with a salad, I swear to God, we cannot be friends, okay? You cannot be Ross. Salad is not food. Take that salad, throw it away. Look, now it's a toss salad. I make funny. Number one, the food addict. Oh my God, what a creative title, Lily. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, well, I'm Robert, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you, punk. You've won this round. It's like, what actually happens up here? I don't know. Anyways, the food addict. Now typically as a species, human beings need to consume food for survival and to live, but the food addict doesn't just eat food to survive. No, no, they eat food because it's within a 10 mile radius. Because they're bored. Because they're sitting at a table and there's pie on the table. And because they see the pie. Because it's Monday. Because it's 4.30. Because even though they just ate dinner, now they have to study and obviously they're gonna need a study snack. It doesn't really matter why. The point is food. They eat it. The food addict is someone who will eat food Food beyond the point of comfort. They'll be so full, but they'll just keep eating. And let me be the first to say, I am this effing person. Straight up, I could be so full, but if there's fries on the table, I'ma eat the fries. I will literally unbutton my pants in a public setting just to alleviate the pressure so I can eat more food, okay? I'm the same person who can like change in front of my mom, but ask me to take my pants off at a McDonald's to eat more fries, I'm your woman. And then after I'm done those fries, ready to pass out, possibly about to have cardiac arrest, I will ask for the dessert menu. There could literally be a doctor beside me like, hi Lily, if you have one more bite of food, you will die. And I'll just be like, okay, but listen, could you just make sure the slides are at my funeral's on point? No, I don't want no eye movie ish. I swear to God, if I see this right here, my funeral slideshow, I will resurrect and smack a hoe. Okay, and don't invite my ex's new girlfriend, okay? I can't compete with her if I'm dead. Unless I die with a cute pose, then maybe. Pizza so cold and old and dirty, but anything but video. Oh my kidding, it's delicious. Bro, I eat so much that it causes me physical pain. Okay, you know most people will talk about how they regret their past relationship? No, I'll be sitting there like, damn. Shouldn't have had that second slice of cake, man. I eat so much food that it makes me think about my life. I'm so full that my neighbors can hear my breathing, okay? Just straight up, my stomach cannot process what is happening right now. My stomach is straight up buffering, okay? You put a microphone inside my tummy, it will sound like the Titanic soundtrack of it sinking. It's a tragedy down there, it's crazy. I'm hungry. Oh my god, look, there's pizza just sitting here. Number two, the one bite wonder. Now these people right here are the opposite of food addicts. They talk a big game, but when the food arrives, they take one or two bites and claim they're full. Or even worse, they finish half of their appetizer and claim they're full. Appetizer. Bro, this is just the beginning, okay? What, some hummus and pitas got you scurred? Five minutes ago, you were all like, oh my god, I am so hungry, I could eat a cow. No, I could literally eat a whole chicken. I need my food to come right now. I am so famished. And the food arrives, and the only thing I see on the table are empty promises, bro. Huh? Your stomach should be a politician. And to be honest, it's disrespectful to people like me who will continue eating, because now that you're done eating, because you're full, okay, I feel like you're judging me, when really, you're the weird one, because everyone knows that carbs are better than people. So maybe your priorities are just whack. Because you know there's a problem when you've been eating for 15 minutes and your plate still looks like the picture. I'm just spitting pizza. There's just pizza flying out everywhere out of my mouth. I'm just I'm gonna save you for later. You know there's a problem when 15 minutes have passed and your plate still looks like the picture on the menu. And then you know what you gotta do, okay? You don't want the waitress to think like you don't eat any food and you're like some crazy person. So you take your fork, you like shift some rice this way, you dig a crater over here, you pile these mushrooms that way, and you F a few things up so it looks like I ate something. But the fact remains that your stomach is weak. Okay, your stomach is the meek mill of anatomy. That's right, you heard me. Drake, what's up? Champagne poppy, six, views, bye. Number three, the calorie combiner. Now these are the types of people that really don't care about individual tastes and flavors because when they eat, they just mix everything together. I'm talking about the people that grab their fork and like, okay, fries, yeah, I'll get some veggies on this, right? Dipping in some ketchup with some steak. <laughs> Flood my mouth with some coke. Yum. 
Like the effing insta collage of eaters. Basically what's supposed to be happening in your stomach is now happening in your mouth. And I don't understand how you have all that stuff in your mouth at one time and you are puking because me, when I eat, call it a control freak, but I actually have a game plan, okay? I'm like, all right, you know what? These mashed potatoes, man, these are delicious, you know? I better save three bites of these so this can be the last taste in my mouth. I'll leave these stupid vegetables over here so I can get them out of the way. Veg, I'm gonna eat half of this tofu. Okay, then we'll come back to this mashed potatoes. I got a plan, I got a blueprint. I can guarantee if you're talking to me in the middle of a meal, I'm not listening to you. I'm making my blueprint, okay? I'm like the culinary Jay-Z. And let me just tell you some of the worst days of my life are when I have this plan. I'm like, okay, veggies, 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 and then we're gonna get some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, I see you over there with your fine booty, okay? I'm gonna finish these veggies. I finish the veggies, then what happened? I get full, okay? And my plan backfires. And I'm like, what kind of cruel prank is this? And God is just sitting up there like, oh, great, that's a great thumbnail for my prank video screenshot. Number four, good manner munchers. Now we all know that one person who eats food with a side dish of well done manners. Let's say I'm going out to breakfast with person B. Right? Let's be real, breakfast, I wake up at like 11. Okay, let's say I'm going to brunch with person B. Mm, let's be real, I'm not white. Okay, let's say I'm going to dinner with person B. We order food and now obviously after looking at all the food porn in the menu, I am starving and raging with hunger. After what seems like an eternity or like, you know, a, a Kanye West speech, finally our appetizers arrive. But no, no, not our appetizers, person B's appetizer arrives. The waitress didn't care about my appetizer, okay? The waitress neglected my appetizer. The waitress left my appetizer at the mall, okay? The waitress doesn't even know what color my appetizer's eyes are. She only has person B's appetizer, and now person B has food. I'm like, you know, all right, it's cool. Person B deserves, you know, person B's a good person. Person B always signals when they change lanes. So you don't have this person B. But then what does person B do? This mother effer doesn't eat their food because they're polite and they want to wait until my food arrives. I hate that. Don't do that. That is disrespectful to carbs. See, now here's the thing, okay? I know you're trying to be polite, but now you've created this expectation where we're gonna wait for each other's food to arrive. And let's say when the main course comes, the waitress brings mine first, and you're gonna expect me to wait for your main course to arrive, and let me be the first to tell you that is simply not going to happen. You think I'm gonna let my four cheese spaghetti get cold because of politeness? Now, here's a question for you. What does politeness taste like? Is, pol is politeness delicious? Can I, can I dip my bread into politeness? No, no I can't. So why would I do that? I want the cheese in my pasta to be saucy and hot and gooey. I don't want pasta with some effing cheese strings. And this politeness makes no sense, okay? You're just ruining your food. And it's not like if you wait for my food to arrive, my food's gonna arrive quicker. Stop being dumb, eat your food. In addition to this, some people are so polite that they will constantly wipe their face after every bite. And here's the thing, I know you don't want stuff on your face, but after every bite, who needs to wipe their face? If you gotta wipe your face after every bite, okay, what you need to be doing is leaving this restaurant, going to the doctor, and getting a blood test, okay? Because you just might be a hyena. <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> or like person B will eat pizza, nachos, and chicken wings with a knife and fork because apparently using your hands is impolite and rude. And I'm like, what, since when, how was that? Here's the thing, right? I've had so many gentlemen grab my effing booty, but then eat pizza with a knife and fork. And I'm like, you know what? Your manners are like my cold cheese. No consistency. The moral of the story is, where the F is the waitress out of my appy? Number five, the fit fatty. Oh, that sounds like it could be a reggae song. Fit fatty, fit fit fatty, fit we all have that one annoying friend that we all secretly loathe because they can eat an entire buffet table but still look amazing. These people come in two forms. Number one, the skinny friend. I'm talking your friend that's so skinny they have to run around in the shower to get wet. Yet when you go out to eat, they'll eat a double cheeseburger, side of fries, side of onion rings, milkshake, finish my pasta, and then have some dessert. And I'm like, literally, where does this go? Like where? Is your stomach the Bermuda Triangle? Where's all this food disappearing? You know, that would explain how all those airplanes full of food disappeared when you were younger. Or number two, the super tanked muscular friend that will eat 20 pounds of food. And I just don't get it. How are you eating these cheesy nachos but still have six pack abs? Because to be honest, it looked like the cook could have grated the cheese on your abs. Kesko what? Also, in addition, how come when I eat nachos, it doesn't have the same effect? It's just like, hello, hello God? Yeah, sorry. Hi, sorry to interrupt you. I know you're editing your prank video, but um, I think my nacho to muscle converter is broken in my body. Yeah, I think it's set to fat right now, so I just wanted to get some tech support on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's that? Unplug for five seconds? Okay. 
Honestly, I hope both of you people trip at least once a day because the rest of your life is not fair and I hate you. What's that? What's up? Oh, you work out every day, that's why? Okay, well this is my video and my rant. Why don't you shut your dirty mouth? Also, in reference to this entire video, what up t-shirt reference? <sighs> Anyways. Yo, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because that stuff makes me happy. I like when you click the thumbs up or I mean if you didn't like it, you can click the thumbs down. I just like your feedback. Comment below letting you know what type of eater are you. Do you know these types of people? Is it just me? I will not know. You can check out my last video right there. It's called How to Get Your Crush to Like You featuring Casper Lee. My second vlog channel, which is separate from this one. I upload daily vlogs and right over there. So you can check that out and subscribe. And yo, subscribe to this channel because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. Also, very exciting. I will be we day Seattle in two days. So everyone who's in Seattle, I will see you there. Until next time, one love, soup woman. That is a wrap and soup.